A Detroit business says they've been targeted by thieves not once but twice. Took two of their trailers in broad daylight, but as our Larry Spruill reports, this time was caught on camera. Gregory Smith says the trailer was sitting right here in this very spot, right in front of his business partner's home, when the thieves stole it within minutes, and it was all caught on camera. It's a property preservation company, as well as uh, landscaping. Uh, we do clean outs, board ups on vacant houses and stuff like that. And Gregory Smith, the owner of Rosado and Smith, says they have been busy, especially cleaning out basements from the recent floods. And it went to a screeching halt when they uh, stole everything. Smith says that happened just days ago on July 16th at 1130 in the morning. It was sitting right here. Someone stole right their trailer in just minutes and it was caught on camera. Now you can see this dark colored truck driving away with the company's trailer connected to it. There was a silver Cadillac that was the lookout behind us and they came up, but it was a late 90s green uh, Chevy Silverado 1500. Um, they loaded up and just, I, I can't even ima like imagine how they got it so quick. Smith says now he's asking for your help to get it back because he says it was not cheap to buy it in the first place. So it's really close to 10 grand, uh, it's mighty 700. He showed us this trailer because he said the stolen one looks just like this one. But if all of this wasn't enough, he tells me this is not the first time someone stole from them. This is the second time. Uh, the first time they actually got me for older trailer with two Cub cadets on it. That one had their equipment with it and it happened some weeks ago, but get this. And they stole it from the exact same spot. It really comes off the sweat of me and my guys' backs. Uh, there's no loans, nothing like that. We really worked hard, stacked our money and went out there and purchased it to make our job easier. He tells me he did file several police reports with police and police are now investigating. Meanwhile, there is a GoFundMe account set up and information is on the website. Click on Detroit.com. Reporting on Detroit's east side, Larry Spruill, Local 4.